Hey guys, have you ever been stranded with a dead car battery and felt frustrated? Well, trust me, I have been there and it's no fun. But don't worry. Today I'm going to share with you how to test and change your car battery step by step. And I promise guys, it's not as complicated as it seems. First things first. Let's talk about the signs that indicate your car battery might need some attention. Do you find your car taking longer than usual to start? or maybe some strange power fluctuations in your music system those are some signs to look out for or other indicators may include rust around the battery bloating a strange smell and dim headlights regularly testing your battery can help avoid these issues now if you ever find yourself in a situation where your car breaks down in the middle of the road don't panic here is a quick sos guide also known as jump starting the car The tools you need to jump start your vehicle are a wrench, pliers, jumper cables and a toolbox. First, locate the battery and identify the positive and negative terminals. So between the dead battery and the charged battery, please make sure that you connect the positive terminal to the positive and the negative terminal to the negative, which means connect the black clamp with the black and the red with the red. Please make sure that the clamps are in the correct place because if you place them on the wrong terminal it could damage your car start your car and keep the engine running for at least 5 minutes or above 20 minutes before turning it off just to be safe if the car starts you're good to go if not you probably have a dead battery or a dying alternator and yeah once you jump start your car please do not stop until it reaches the garage so now Let's talk about how to test that your car battery is dead or can be charged and salvaged. There are two ways of testing your car battery. The first way is to do it with a multimeter, a wrench and a toolbox. These are readily available at any local garage. Now to test the battery with a multimeter. Test the black probe to the negative terminal and the red probe to the positive terminal. If the reading of the multimeter decreases then that means the battery has no charge the reading of the multimeter will vary from car to car the second and an older way to check if your battery is discharged is with the hydrometer for this carefully open the battery covers and insert the hydrometer in all the cells one by one if the battery is fully charged the hydrometer should show a gravity reading of 1250 indicating that it has enough energy to power your car if the reading is below 1100 then the battery is discharged and you will need to charge it up before you can use it again having said that do check with your local garage for the right numbers as they vary from car to car to charge your battery first connect the positive and negative terminals then switch on the charger and set the meter to charge it It usually takes around 10 to 24 hours for a battery to charge fully. So be patient and give it some time. Now that we know how to check our battery, we also need to remember that regular maintenance of your battery is important to extend its life. Drive your car frequently, keep the battery terminals clean, and always turn off all electrical accessories before turning off the engine. And after all this, if you need to change your battery at home, don't worry. It's easier than you might think. First, open the hood of your car. Then open the battery cover strap. Next, remove the terminals and insert a new battery. Just be sure to follow all the instructions carefully and take all necessary precautions. So guys, I hope these simple techniques will help you take care of your car battery in the future. Do share your tips with us as well and keep watching this space for more such content.